PTC Creo Parametric 3.0, Lesson 10, Part 2. Before we do the next part, I did notice when I was uh, going through this one that I did not have you change the location of the pointer here for the arrow, and it's not going correctly towards the center, pointing towards the center. And previously, you'd have to change the, edit the location of it, but I clicked on the, the, the note itself, right mouse button, and I went down here and seen what's what's available. And one of them is to change the note type. Let's pick on normal leader. And now click on the edge of the hole where we want it and move it out. Middle mouse button to place it. Left mouse button to complete it. So that's one thing you should do on that drawing. So I'm going to close the drawing, save it. and close it. So the next one we're going to do is the clamp foot. So again, new drawing. And again, I'm going to give an abbreviated name. I'll use the default template. And I think I'm going to use the, uh, let's see what we used in the book. Looks like we used a uh, B size. Click OK. Now I want to see what happens here. It gave me the whole assembly because the assembly is in session. OK, now that's one thing. Yeah, I did not pay attention to it. So I'm going to close that. And one of the things I can do, I can clean out everything that's in session. And you'll see all of these items are in session. So let's get rid of them all. And in this case here, let's open up the one that I do want to detail. And that one is the clamp foot. So we'll go down here to the clamp foot. Click open. All right. Now, I actually want to take a look at this. I'm going to look in the view. And, uh, well, actually, I can just look over here. This one's already got a section in it because I picked one of the, the, the models that I had already done some work on. So in this particular case, I'm going to delete this section so that we can build it ourselves. So this is the clamp foot, and we want to do a drawing. I, I just opened it up. It's now in session, so I'm going to close it, and I'm going to start off with a new drawing. Again give it a name. And this is something that you should be concerned about is your naming. I use the same name. Normally it would say I can't do that. But since I took it out of session and I never saved it, it's not anywhere for the system to locate and say that there's a discrepancy, two files with the same name. So it should allow us to have that. So, and again, this time, <clears throat> let's go back over to the, uh, to the book and see what type of drawing that I picked. Looks like I did pick the uh, B size. So we're going to go to B, click OK. It'll put three views in there. <coughs> right mouse button anywhere, sheet setup, click inside the B size format field, go down to browse, pick on B for our standard format, ASME format. <clears throat> Excuse me, click on OK. Now we really don't need this side view, so let's select it, hit the delete key. And it is a little small, it seems to me. So we can actually double click down here where it says scale. Let's double click and let's go, uh, let's try two. I can't remember what the book says. We'll just wing it here. So that looks OK. So I've got two views. If I wanted to, right mouse button, general view, I could put a view over here that's pictorial. Don't have to, but you can do it. All right, so I got a couple of views here. There's other ways of putting views on. We can put a view on and then project a view from it. And in this case here, we use the standard default template for the view. Now, let's go over to our Annotate tab, click on Show Annotations, 
and we're on the dimension tab. So let's click on the top view here. It's got the most dimensions and click on the front view. Nothing shows up. So these are the dimensions. That's because I clicked on the feature. I should have clicked on the drawing. I mean, sorry, the view and then the view down here. Then I'll get some more. Now, some of these dimensions like this one and this one, I actually don't want. So I'll just uncheck those. And if we look up here, is there anything that we don't want? Most of these dimensions are, are useful or needed. So I'm going to just check all of them and uncheck these two at the bottom because we don't need these down here. I'm going to apply. Let's go over to the note and let's click on the views. There are no notes, so nothing's going to show up. The datum, there's only two axes. So we're going to put those on. Cancel. Now, one of the things we could do, we could window in all the dimensions, right mouse button, and clean up dimensions. And with this dialog, we can go in and we can change the distance away the dimensions are from the object lines or from each other. So let's make this a little bit. I know this is the standard to leave it like it is, but usually that means they're fairly close. And I prefer no snap lines. Otherwise, you just have to erase them later and apply. And you notice you can break the witness lines also. One lines that cross other ones. Dimensions, lines, elements that cross other dimension elements. Apply and close. So here's our dimensions. Now, we really don't have anything in the front view. We could move uh, a, at least one of them to the front view. It's nice to have that. If you're going to have a view, um, <clears throat> go up to layout. If you're going to have a view, you might as well use it for something. And we'll put that dimension in there. Now, top view up here, I want to clean it up a little bit. One of the first things we want to do with both views is maybe get some of these datum tags out of here. If you can't pick on the datum tag, go to annotate or change your your filters to annotation, which is what I'm going to do. Oh, still didn't want me to pick that. That's interesting. It'll allow me to pick that, but not the other ones. So let's go back up, and we could pick datum. And now it'll let me select it. It just makes it a little quicker if you've got a lot of elements on there. It's only going to allow you to select what you want. You just have to remember to turn it off afterwards. That's the only thing. So go over here. We can go this time. We can go to dimension and move our dimensions around. Uh, what do we have here? This one's moved down maybe. Let's put this one in the middle and right mouse button flip the arrows. Uh, move a few things around. Notice we could change everything here. We don't like it. We'll put it back. I think I'll move this one over to this side. And I'm going to move this one out again. I don't like that dimension, truthfully. All right, so and again, you would have to do some cleanup on here and drag the elements back. I'm not going to do all of them. I'll do a couple to show you so that they don't go. You'd have to do this one and this one. So there's a variety of things that you want to do to clean up the drawing. Now, one of the things here is this should really be a section view. So it'd be nice to show this particular geometry of the part to expose the internal elements of it. So let's click on it. You can double click on it and let's go to view display it's hidden hidden line now let's put uh, no hidden line and let's go to dimmed tangency we should actually do that to the front view too because it doesn't look right with all these edges in fact um, since I'll probably forget I'm actually going to go and do that And in this case, I'm going to put no hidden line in that one also. So let's go to dimmed, apply. And you can actually get rid of those if you want. 
That would probably look a lot better for the front view. All right, so top view again. Let's go to view sections. And let's take this and see if we've got any 2D cross section plus, and we don't have any. So we don't have a cross section here. So you can create one here if you want, but we actually cover that in another lesson. Instead, let's go and open up our part. And we want a section down the middle of it, one way or another, probably this way here. So let's go over to view and let's select section. Could use planar. I already I already selected that C. X direction. Let's see what happens. No, we don't want the X direction. So normally it's easier to just pick planar. And you can see that is our section right there. And we can shade it if we wish, put a different color and all that. And we can show our section lines. That all looks fairly good check and go in here right mouse button and let's uh let's see what else let's click on sections and you see we can go and edit the hatchy whatever it is i can't remember what this one is supposed to be but let's pick steel and um let's pick iron the reason for that is the iron is actually the standard for like the generic section. And we can actually increase, increase the angle, increase or decrease the spacing. And of course, we can actually change the color also if we wanted to. Apply, close that. So again, I'm going to, you can, you can save it. I don't think I'll save mine because I'm working with a model that I used in the assembly when I did the book. So I'm going to close this. Double click on top view again, sections. Now, if we made the section in the wrong direction, then that section won't be able to be used. 2D section plus, uh, and it's coming out on, oh, I did, did one mistake. I should have called it section A. And uh, here I just left it as a, uh, default section A. I don't even like the uh, section lines either. So let's keep that like it is. Let's move section A. And actually in this particular case we don't have to have section A. We don't have to put that on there because it's just an obvious one. I could delete that. Let's see what else we have here. So let's delete it don't need it click on double click on the section X hatching and an old menu manager comes up ah, I don't even want to make a comment about this and let's go and change our spacing and angle done like so so that looks pretty good got our section in in there let's go back over and open up our part And you can see we've got our section in there. Let's type A and hit enter. Now we have section A for a name. And if we wanted to click on the front view, right mouse button. Uh, let's see. On the layout, let's click on the top view, right mouse button, add arrows, and click on the front view. And we'll put the arrows in there for there. But of course, we don't have the word section, the note section AA on here. So it's really kind of not necessarily to have that in this case. It's obvious it goes down the middle. All right, so this completes part two of lesson 10.